Hey y'all, it's me, Lana Marie, and I did install this wig on camera. If you want to see the results, stay tuned. So I'm taking the Gorilla Snot and just brushing these hairs out of the way, making sure that they're flat for the cap. Then I'll take this knee-high stocking and stretch that over my head. Please do not pull the cap down all the way over your face like you're a bank robber. I really despise this. Now I'm just going to cut my ears out of the cap so that it can kind of lay pretty flat. And then I'll take the Bold Hold Liquid Gold in order to secure my cap. I prefer to use this over the spray because this allows me to be very detailed in where I place the liquid gold to make sure my cap stays down in certain areas and that way it doesn't stick to my edges. And honey, I love my edges. I want to keep my edges. And so I always do my wigs like this. And I have never had an issue with pulling my edges out whenever I put my wigs on. So try this method if you um, have experienced hair loss around the perimeter due to the cap. And let me know what you think. Now I'm taking my blow dryer to blow dry that product down until it's clear and then I'll take the foundation and just apply that to the cap just to conceal it so that it can blend in with my fake scalp, okay? So just take a foundation shade that pretty much matches your skin and go in over your cap with that. Then I'll go in with the free spray just to make sure everything is in place. I don't spray too much and then I'm going to go back in with the blow dryer at this point. Now this is the tricky part. Please pull the cap backwards as you cut. This allows you to kind of see more of what you're cutting so that you will not cut your skin. I have cut my skin multiple times, so please be careful. Now I'm taking the bow hole lace glue and I'm applying my first layer with the wood stick. A lot of times I apply with my finger. I was on here trying to be professional, even though I didn't even set the video up like a professional. I just wanted to go ahead and record. Now you see I have that hole in my um stocking cap that does not matter i've seen people with way worse stocking cap methods but this is my method do what works for you my installs last as much as i need them to so i never had an issue with my cap being like messed up or messy okay so here is the beautiful wig it was a 28 inch wig and i love it so much so i'm just starting off by placing it in the center where i have my part I did part and pluck and hot comb this off camera. Um, if you guys want a tutorial like that, please comment down below. I'm sure there are a lot of tutorials on plucking and stuff like that. Honestly, just give it your best shot. Don't over pluck is what I recommend. I would rather you under plug than over plug because, yeah, over plucking just is horrible. Okay, so I'm just placing the wig where I wanted to go, creating my own little lineup. Then I'll take my little raggedy rat tooth comb and I'm brushing it back so that the hair can stick into the glue. This is very important. Then I'm just doing the same thing to the other side, you know. Now I'm just taking an elastic band and tying this down before I cut the lace off just so that the lace will be stuck in place prior to me cutting and then I will go back in with any glue if any parts are lifting once I actually cut it off. Okay, so at this point I was really feeling myself baby because scalp is what it's giving. Yes ma'am okay so now in all seriousness I'm gonna go ahead and cut the excess lace off never cut your lace in a straight line I typically go in like a jagged motion and I never have a problem with my lace looking you know too detectable now BFFR this is a lace wig it's not gonna look like scalp because it is not scalp so don't be too hard on yourself if you feel like you know you see too much lace go ahead and cut the rest of that lace off um, I feel like the more you cut the lace off the better it looks Sometimes people have the lace just staying there and that's not given. 
Okay, so I went ahead and tied my lace back down and decided to give y'all a little quick makeup glam in this same tutorial. So I'm going in with the Benefit Brow Product and just filling in my brows. This is my first time really using this product and I will say I like it. Then I'll take that LA Girl Pro Concealer, that OG Concealer, and carve out my brows to give it a more arched look. And then I'm going in with my MAC Concealer, hitting the areas that I like to highlight. And then I'm going to take the MAC Foundation and just apply that all over my face as well. Since this is a quick makeup look, I'm taking a beauty sponge and I'm blending all of this makeup out together. It's okay because this is not a beat down glam this is just a one to one to glam now i'm taking a sharp tape concealer giving myself a bright under eye you girls know i love a bright under eye so i had to go in with a little more concealer to brighten up my under eyes then i'll take my morphe powder and um hit up the areas that i would like to contour around my cheekbones and then down my nose and things of that nature I am taking the same contour shade and I'm applying that all over my lids. Y'all know this is my go-to look. I don't do the fancy eyeshadows on this channel. I'm a very neutral earth tone type of girl. Taking that Morphe spray and spraying my face down. And at this point, I was really feeling myself. I'm going in with the Trophy um, Wife Highlighter by Fenty Beauty. Shout out to Rihanna. This is the best highlight. Putting that lip gloss on and yeah, I was feeling myself. Who had it in me?